Now I do like my Shatton coil winder here. The only thing is it gets really dicey when you have to reach up here to turn it on and then start winding and then reach up here again to turn it off because you're holding it with one hand. There's a high risk of breakage, high risk of something going on while your hand is reaching up here. So today we're going to put a foot switch on this thing so that we can turn it on and off by foot. So when you're putting a foot switch on, the question is, do you want it on while you hold the switch? In which case you're holding that switch a long time. Or do you want it to turn off when you press the switch? Or do you want it to be press on, press off? I think I would go with one of the latter two. And because this is a, uh, a normally uh, open momentary switch, uh, I'm just gonna make this a stop pedal basically. It's gonna be a brake pedal for for the coil winder, if you will. I'm winding some specialized bobbins for a guitar project. I was about to say that I've never opened this box before, but in fact I have. I forgot that I put this uh, forward reverse switch in here. This goes uh, directly in series with the motor so that I could reverse the direction of the winding if needed. And I did need to actually at one point. Uh, so I'd wind one coil one way and then wind a second one in the opposite direction. Now today what I'm interested in doing is interrupting. There's a switch here that turns the whole thing off except for the counter. I could interrupt that, but that turns on when it is uh, in, in this region here where you're varying the speed and my pedal is normally open, so that would work perfectly to put my pedal in series with this if I wanted to hold the pedal down while it's on. And I don't want to do that. I want to do something different. So one other possibility is I can take the center, the wiper from the speed control, and pull that toward the, uh, toward the, the zero RPM side with my switch. And that way it's effectively on all the time and then when I hit the switch it'll actually short the speed down to zero uh, which also would work just fantastically I believe. The only risk there is if there's not a padding resistor at the high end uh, I could burn something out so I've got to check and see if that's the case or not. Uh, if there is no if there is a padding resistor there then yeah I can go ahead and do it that way and it will just work out wonderfully. So I guess I have to take, uh, take this, this board out first. So this is the little uh, control circuit and I can see that the wiper and the max speed are connected together and so therefore this pot is a dead short when you have it counterclockwise from here to the wiper which, which is okay that's a good condition so that means we can solder our switch from here to here and when we press that foot switch it's exactly the same function as having this pot turned all the way to zero speed so uh, that's what we're going to do. That is definitely the way to go. And I did confirm that the switch on the back uh, is closed when this is greater than the off position. So in, if I wire it in here, I'd have to hold the pedal down in order for it to be on, which I don't want. I want it to be a brake. So I am going to simply connect it between those two points there. You can see my helper can't wait to do this part. Okay, let's put the drill bit in. Okay. All right. Now we need to make a hole right here. Can you, can you pick up the drill? We want a hole right here. You know how to make a hole? Can you squeeze the trigger? There we go. Okay, now we got to pull the drill out. That's the first part of the hole. Good job, little helper man. I need to make the hole bigger though. I'll do this one because it's going to be hard. Good, we did it. We made a hole. Now we can put the jack in the hole and finish this thing up just <laughs> like that. Pretty cool. Okay, there's our normally open brake jack, and there is the adapter. 
for the pedal down here. And some sound effects provided by little man. Okay, so hook that up and let's just do a dry test here and see if this will work. power switch on. Okay, I didn't break it. It's still spinning. That's good. And then we test the pedal here. Push the pedal, it stops. Look over the pedal and it goes. Push the pedal and it stops. Looks like it's working pretty well. So I just tuck the uh, wires in there along with the other wires and everything looks nice and clean. And if I pull the brake out, it should start spinning again. And it does. So, lo and behold, the whole system is working well now. Awesome. Just have to button it up and start making pickups. Well, that just worked awesomely. Anytime I wanted to stop, I just pressed the pedal. When I was ready to start, took my foot off the pedal. Works great.